Last four, you can take out your English grammar now. So we already finished our fifth chapter, that is pronoun. Today we'll do some question answer from this chapter, okay? So take out your English one copy and your materials, paint, pencils and all. So, <clears throat> okay, I hope you took out your English one copy. First, you need to write down your chapter name that is pronoun p r o u p r o sorry p r n o u and pronoun okay you have to write down your chapter name understood write down classwork and date don't forget to write date okay you have to write down a date so first question is question number one one what is is a pronoun p r o n o u n pronoun what w h a t what I S is a P R O N O U N pronoun. What is a pronoun? So your answer is in your book only. Page number 25. Pro pronoun is a word that is used in place of noun to avoid repetition of noun. Understood? You have to write down ye sab likhna padega ye sab likhna padega and then example don't write this one don't write it write this one Harish is a doctor he treats the patients okay first you need to write down Pronoun is a word that is used in place of noun to avoid repetition of nouns. Example, Harish is a doctor. He treats the patients. Answer number one. Okay. Your question is, what is a pronoun? Your answer is, pronoun is a word that is used in place of noun to avoid repetition of noun example Harris is a doctor he treats the patients understood so after writing this answer next question will be question number two okay <coughs> question number two just you have to write the question and answer and question number two so how many kinds you write answer from the book how many kinds k i n d s kinds are there are <coughs> there T H E R E there and what are they? What are they? T H E Y they. Okay. How many kinds are there? What are they? So, in answer, you have to write how many kinds copy from here there are seven kinds of pronoun add they are personal pronoun possessive pronoun reflexive pronoun demonstrative pronoun interrogative pronoun indefinite pronoun and relative pronoun this will be your answer number two from here answer number two okay 
now next question is <clears throat> what uh, right w r i t e right difference between d i f f e r e n c e difference between d e t w e e n right difference between what personal p e r s o n a l personal and personal and possessive pronoun p o s s e s s i v e possessive pronoun p r o n o u n pronoun okay so question number 3 is that you have to write down the difference between personal and possessive pronoun for that you have to make it a box okay i hope you are understanding your question number 3 is uh, you have to write down between uh, <coughs> personal and possessive pronoun so in one uh, box you have to you need to write personal pronoun and in your second <coughs> other box you need to write possessive pronoun okay in number 1 personal pronoun stands for a person or a things possessive pronoun stands s t a n d s stands about a b o u t about things belongs to people number 2 is the word i we you she he it they are called personal pro noun okay the word mine yours y o u r s yours okay y o u r s yours ours o u <coughs> o u r s ours hers h e r s hers i h i s his and uh, sorry there are called possessive noun example i have a book example this book is mine so see the difference between personal and possessive okay when we use uh, i we you okay in pronoun and when we use mine yours ours hers in pronoun okay at the same time so this is your question number uh, sorry answer number 3 okay uh, question number 1 copy from here and answer you will need to copy from the book okay from here to here number 2 question copy from here and answer from your book from here till up to here and question number 3 copy all those all these things okay now question number 4 your question number 4 is what are see what are reflexive and relative pronoun okay reflexive and relative pronoun first you need to write as an answer ans answer you write re r e reflexive f l e x i v e reflexive pro reflexive pronoun okay and then you just give a dash okay and please take out page number 27 from your book reflexive pronoun yeah the pronoun myself yourself Uh, sorry myself ourself yourself himself herself itself and themselves when we used as the receiver of an action is uh, sorry are called reflexive pronoun answer number 4 okay from here you have to copy down over here and after finishing that you need to write down what relate pronoun relate 
pronoun pro n o u n pronoun and as same as before you need to write down oh yeah from here to yeah okay the word who whom whose which and that relative that are relative pronoun they are called so because they refer to on earlier noun answer number 4 you need to write down like this okay first you have to write down re reflexive pronoun and write the answer and after that leave one line and write down relative pronoun okay all right your question number 5 will be okay your question number 5 is um uh, write difference between demonstrative and interrogative pronoun okay demonstrative d e m o n s t r a t i v e demonstrative and in i n in t e r r o g a t i v e interrogative pronoun so as we did before in personal and possessive pronoun we have to do exactly okay exactly we have to make a box and one side in one side we need to write demonstrative and other side interrogative okay first a uh, demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun that demonstrate a certain noun example this is my school in interrogative an interrogative pronoun is a pronoun that asks question the noun about the noun which it stands for okay an interrogative pronoun is a pronoun that asks a s k asks question about the noun example who is standing outside so question number 5 is there now last question question number 6 question number 6 is what is called an indefinite pronoun with example so just go through it uh, page number 28 is there only uh, indefinite pronoun the word someone somebody and something are called indefinite pronoun till up to here okay and write down uh, this is answer number 6 and write example someone somebody has stolen my bat okay write down this example also understood so till up to here we'll continue in our next class